thanks so much for your company this morning with the proposed Healthy Homes Bill, our property guru Martin Cooper from Harcourts Cooper & Co is here to look at the possible implications for renters, landlords and the property market. Welcome Martin, how are you? Great, feeling good, had a family wedding last week, so um, love is in the air, stepdaughter got married, beautiful event, uh, so I'm feeling good. We've got to talk a bit about real estate though, haven't yes, we? Yes, we do, and we'll get straight to it. So what does this Healthy Homes Bill, the proposed Healthy Homes Bill, what does it actually mean for, say, landlords first? Okay, the new bill, it's had its second reading in Parliament, so it's not in law yet, but it's tracking through pretty well. So it just means that homes will have to be up to a minimum standards for heating and insulation and safety. So it will mean landlords will in some cases have to spend some money on their properties to improve the quality of their properties. But it, overall it's a great thing for New Zealand property. Right, so that you think it is, because you're a smooth criminal in the, uh, you know, in the market profit, in the, in the property market. Uh, so is it a good bill? You, are you happy with yeah, it? Yeah, very happy with it. In New Zealand, if we look at the total housing stock, there's about 1.5 million properties right across households across New Zealand. The statistics department tell us that 450,000 of those properties are rented. Wow. So a hell of a lot of our people in mm. New Zealand intended properties, so we need to make sure the quality of, of housing is up to a good standard, help for health, for well-being of, of our New Zealanders. OK, so I'm a landlord and I'm thinking, oh, no, I'm going to spend more money on the, on the home. What if I can't afford that? Well, there are grants available at the moment. You can just Google, you know, insulation grants. The, the subsidies there are available up to 50% to get the insulation done. That's running through the 30th of uh, June 2019. So get in now, do the inquiry, make the improvements. And the other thing, if you're a landlord, you spend the money on your property. The better presented your property is, the better tenants you get, the longer tenancies you get. Happy tenants, happy relationships. It, it just works better for you. Right, so, and that brings us nicely to the people that are going to rent these properties. You said it's going to you know, be better for them because they've got a better quality home. Will it mean more rent that they have to pay? Well, some landlords will try, and, but market will determine the rental levels. Right. Fortunately, Mr Twyford, our Minister of Housing, is flat out telling us he's going to build all these affordable homes, so that'll take the pressure off in some areas once he delivers these homes. But um, some landlords will pass on the increased cost to their tenants, but if they've got a better quality home and then they can afford it, well, it's a good outcome for all, I reckon. No, and the landlords, I, I guess, have the opportunity to dip into some of those funds that are available to not be able to have to increase their rent. So, you know, everybody helping everybody, better housing, better quality tenants as well, which we all like. What about the overall property market? Well, I'm, that right I'm, uh, I enjoyed the wedding. That was a happy moment. But I'm enjoying the real estate market at the moment right. too. It's, it's woken up again since the election. Okay. People are making decisions, getting on with it. Our auction business is going gangbusters at the moment. Right. People are making decisions before Christmas. So we're seeing the market coming back. The uncertainty is out of it. People are just making commitments. So it's good, good sailing ahead. Okay, and, and just to wrap, what would, your, what would your advice be to people that do have investment properties, like a landlord now? What would you say to them right now? Well, we're managing over 21,000 properties, so if you want any advice, I would suggest call your Harcourt's office. Go and check it out, look at what you can best do. We can guide you through all the um, legislation changes that are coming. Yeah. We can give you professional help, and uh, we're, we're good to support you in that area. Nice. You are, you are very good at this, Martin. Thank you so much for your help. Always well dressed too, isn't he? And if you, as he said, if you are a landlord or a tenant wanting expert help and looking after your property or to find a home to rent, you can check out cooperandco.co.nz.